I'm gonna be showing you how I do my short Marley twist, right? Right now I have this old uh, twist out in my hair. It's about three, four days old. Yes, my hair is dirty. Yes, it's time for a good wash. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-poo my hair, shampoo, and then give it a good condition, deep condition. My hair is 4C, okay? It's 4C, as they like to call it, kinky, coily, and I love it. Don't matter, I love my hair. But it's very thick, as you can see. Um, trying to give you a close-up there. See, I have a little bit of 4B in there, but baby, listen, this thing here, these coils is just as tight as they wanna be. And I recently just cut my hair for like the second time. Um, I big chopped it back in March and my hair is growing really nicely right now and it's very healthy so I'm excited about that. So if you wanna see me go, if you wanna see a girl go from this here, right here, to this, then stay tuned, sis, stay tuned. Bro, I know you are watching too, stay tuned, all right? Let's get into it. This is Shine and Jam by Magic Fingers. If you don't know, this is a game changer, in my opinion, for type four hair. I'll be using the Eco Styler Gel. This is um, what I'll be putting on my actual hair and as well as the um, hair that I'm gonna be putting, twisting into my hair. At the end, I'll be going in with my mousse. I'll be using the Cuban Twist hair today um, in two different colors. This is color 33, which is a, like a like a lightish brown type color. I'll be using one of each. This is a color two, um, which is the color of my hair. Now I've never used this hair before. I typically use like the Jamaican twist hair. If you can see, it's very kinky and coily, but I will say that it is extremely like dry and rough. So we'll see how it is. I mean, I like the, the look of it because it's like that real kinky, coily look. Um, but I don't like the way it feels. It's not soft, it's, it's rough. With me adding the Eco Style Gel to it, it should be good. Before I put any comb through my hair, even though my hair was moisturized and I let it air dry and everything like that, I don't like to put a comb through my hair, like, especially having the type of texture that I have. You know, I like to spray, a, and this is just water, but I like to do a light, I like to do a light spritz just so that the comb can easily go through. This isn't about soaking the hair or anything like that. And then of course, you know, we start from the ends over here, hold it tight so that we're not getting any stragglers. Now for this section, I'm just gonna do five, okay? And you'll see me looking over because I have my mirror, you know, up on this wall here. Now what I like to do, so that I can get those really nice, what they call HD parts, is go in with my shine and jam and put it on the part. And that's just gonna give you that super clean, give you that super clean look. I have my two, like I said, this is color 33 and this is color two. And this is, um, this is 12 inches. So when I usually do my Marley twists, like they are long, like down my back. But again, I want something different and um, just something quick. You know, I'm just trying to do some quick, chunky Marley twists. So I'm gonna take the gel and just, this is the Eco Styler gel and just lightly put it onto the hair. Not a lot, just a little. And I try to make sure the hair, you know, is as even as possible. But you know, we work with what we got. We work with what we got. We're gonna go ahead and split this hair into two, like so. I'm gonna take our Marley, our, our Cuban twist hair, but let's think Marley. Let's think Marley. And I'm just gonna take it, place it right in the center, okay? I'm gonna twist this hair Just know that one direction needs to go clockwise and one needs to go counterclock, so opposite. Then once you have a good hold there, you don't wanna twist it too much. You wanna just crisscross 
that hair into your hair. Right, and then before I move forward, I wanna make sure like everything is everything. Now you see this hair right here? I wanna tuck that immediately. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna add a little bit more Eco Styler right here. Right, I wanna add it right there. And then I'm gonna kinda like close that, right? And then I'm gonna twist. And then now for this one, same thing. Add a little bit more Eco Styler right there. This is again, just to hold it, you know, hold it in place so that they can mesh well together. And I'm just gonna twist. And the idea, the idea here is to just let it flow. That's my thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. I don't know how else to explain it. Um, you just twist it down, take your time. You don't have to rush. Now, because I'm on camera, I am going a little bit slower but I typically fly through this. Now, if you feel like you're getting tension up here, then, and I'm, I'm used to these twists because I know it's just gonna loosen right back up once I let it go. But if you are tender headed or anything like that, then just get you a clip or something. Now I'm standing on my chair just so I can show you the twist down. Now with these ends, I got a little trick for that because I don't like the knots. I don't like those knots right there, you see? I don't like how it's like, and I could sit here and use my fingers. Instead of using my fingers, I'm just gonna take this brush and just comb those out. Cause I, I just can't. So let's just comb that out. And then I'm just gonna add, again, gel right there on the ends and just close it up.
order to try and have that evenness of the hair um, in the back, I will get my middle point up front and then just keep it here and then just go straight to the back, keeping my hand on that middle point and then just placing that middle point right in the center. And that way I know that, you know, I have even, it's even on both sides. I mean, considering, you know, that I have to part and twist the back, I think, what y'all think? You think I did pretty good? Let me know what you think in the comments. this is the next day and as you can see my hair had settled in and I feel like it's kind of taking shape to me like my face and so I love it guys um, the only thing I will say is with this Cuban twist hair it is very kinky like I said but I love like the look this is the look I was going for with my twist like I like the kinky look um, with the Jamaican twist hair that I usually uh, use it's like it flows more it's not as stiff but again these are still fresh so i know over time as they get older as the style gets older then they'll kind of flow more but right now um got a little hook on the earring but right now it's, it's stiff but i could work i could work with this i could rock it um this is the back 
okay this is a bag you know i love it it's very very neat they are um very light the like the, it's lightweight and i know it may look like a lot if you've never had like um any type of marley hair cuban now i know cuban twist hair jamaican twist hair i know like the twist can look like they're heavy but it's not it's very lightweight but i love them what do you guys think let me know in the comments so overall i think that this style would have taken me about i want to say three hours if i wasn't trying to record and do it on camera i feel like i could have knocked it out within two and a half three hours and if you have enjoyed watching me twist my hair then please give me a thumbs up make sure you subscribe and um, catch me in my next video until then be safe be well and i appreciate you guys Mwah.